Dubai Design Week, currently taking place in Dubai Design District, is in its fifth year and it quickly became the leading design event in the region. Rowan Kashkush is Creative Director of Dubai Design Week. She takes some time out to tell us all about the event. Welcome to Dubai Works, a business podcast about the innovators, the products, the services, and trending topics. Loving Dubai's take on the business stories that matter. My name is Richard Fitzgerald. I'm the founder of Augustus Media, publishers of Love in Dubai, Love in Saudi, and Smashy TV. Each week, we'll be interviewing the dynamic business leaders of Dubai. Hi, Rowan. Hi, Rich. Thanks a lot for joining us on Dubai Works. Good. Thank you for having me in the midst of the chaos. We're just so happy to have this moment, this kind of moment of zen, to talk to you. So uh, we're providing you a bit of a time out. Is it really chaos? It's extraordinary. Um, one of the things that we do, uh, which you can never anticipate the kind of uh, magic of, is we invite schools from across the UAE to come and visit. So it's not just the typical industry professionals, you know, designers of Dubai Design District or the guests that normally come. It's also little children. So you've got everybody from the age of seven years old up to university students all across Dubai Design District right now. And it's, it's amazing. That's amazing to see. Uh, So can you explain to people who aren't familiar with Dubai Design Week, you know, in its fifth year, how it's become so successful and a recurring event in the city? That's a big question to ask. Uh, I think, you know, we've we've done our due diligence. Like we we know every year um, what the gaps are and we try to fill them. So let's go back to what the event really is. It's the largest creative festival in the region. And when we talk about the region, we're talking about the Middle East, North Africa, South Asia, to which Dubai is central. Um, When you're the largest creative festival, you're not just Dubai's design week. You are everybody's design week. You know, you're the everybody who neighbors the UAE's design week. So you've already got designers from neighboring countries and neighboring communities that use this as their platform. So you've got them, you've got the trade show, which is downtown design and all of the industry that it gets involved with that 200 brands, all of their communities together with uh, architects, developers that come in that we personally invite. You've got our press that we host. You've got the schools outreach that we get in touch with, the universities, the government institutions. We're on TV, we're on the radio. The marketing is insane. <laughs> so, um, you know, we started with 25,000 visitors back in 2015, and we've grown to, uh, you know, I'm not so certain what the number is right now. I can tell you that last year we had 75,000 people show up over the course of six days in the Dubai Design District alone. So I imagine this year is well over that because already, you know, I've been here for five years. I can already tell you that it feels quite intense. So, so uh, yeah, we, we've, we've become the larger. Oh, I mean, actually, I can tell you a little bit more. We've got an exhibition called the Global Grad Show, and that includes 150 projects from 100 universities across the world. We're talking about 43 different countries. That's a lot of numbers. But what I'm trying to say is that we have each of the students come with each of the projects, some of their professors, their friends, their family. So you've got that entire community that's coming in, mm. as well as uh, obviously our trade show, Downtown Design, which I mentioned earlier. So it's, it's them, it's people who know Dubai Design Week as a brand now, and they come down really because it's a great place to be a pedestrian. And knowing the city of Dubai, you know, there isn't that kind of space to just walk around. And you've been at, at Dubai Design District since the start, and that seems to be, as you mentioned, a space that's perfectly fit for Dubai Design Week. So um, what's amazing about design is that it's about really the, the, the physical environment within which you move and you conduct yourself. So it's really important to have the right space when you're hosting a design week. You know, you need that outdoor, indoor option. You need the proximity to other people. You need to be a pedestrian, really. And so having a place like Dubai Design District to host a series of exhibitions, we've got retail spaces that become available to us that we can create these pop-up exhibitions within, as well as architectural installations that are explored in the temporary build sense uh, in the outdoor 
uh, vicinity of D3. So the combination of the two and the fact that you've got a waterfront where we can build this enormous 40,000 square meter tent, which hosts downtown design, means that you've got that ability to really expand the scale of the projects that you put on, but keep people you know, walking from one to the other quite easily. And what does the role of creative director involve? Because when we think of creative director, we might think from a branding, visual point of view. And then when mm. we think of an event, and a lot of the things that you mentioned shows how vast and variety involved in such an event, we might think of a curator. Are, are you doing a bit of both? Dubai Design Week acts as a platform where everybody wants to get involved. And what we do is we pair these international companies, let's say, with local designers. That's actually one of the mandates or one of the things that I value and it's very important because if we are Dubai and we are in the Middle East, it's about showcasing designers and talent from here and from around the region. So one of the things that I do is write a brief, for example, between the international company um, and a designer and say, sure, you can definitely come on board, but this is how you're going to work together and this is what you're going to build. And a case of that is, for example, FINSA, was a Spanish MDF manufacturer, and they wanted to get involved. What does, we MDF, what does MDF sound for, sorry? So it's a type of particle board. It's basically, uh, the, way, the best way to know it is it's the type of wood that you use for chairs and tables from Ikea, for example. Okay. So I'm also responsible, being creative director means that you're involved in multiple projects, but I specifically am the curator of an exhibition called Abwab, and Abwab means doors in Arabic. What it is is a platform to showcase design talent from across the Middle East, North Africa, and South Asia specifically. But it's also about taking those designers and kind of uh, putting them on a global stage, which is Dubai. So it's the threshold between the Middle East and the rest of the world. And, and yeah, it's a project that's very dear to my heart. Okay, amazing. When, when um, Dubai hosts an event like this for the region, for local people, for international companies and people to come, it's, Dubai seems to do it differently. It seems to add something extra. Uh, do you, is that what you have in mind when you're creating the themes and the events? So you, are you trying to make it a little bit special? Do you have a mandate to kind of push the boundaries and to kind of make it an exceptional event? We, we do. Um, so the way that we go about kind of organizing the event isn't in any way special, but rather we try to reflect the identity of Dubai in everything that we do. And Dubai really is a number of things. It's one, it's a kind of geographic uh, central point or an anchor in the middle of what we feel is the entire world. So we try to really represent that with the way that we cover um, you know, all of the countries that we, that we put on show at our trade show or the Global Grad Show. So it's really about a snapshot of how Dubai is central to everyone. And that in and of itself is quite special because what ends up happening is in one given place, you have access to the ideas and thoughts of people from everywhere. But simultaneously, it's not just about the world. I think what makes this special is that Dubai belongs to so many people. And we really especially try to highlight the fact that it's home to people that don't get represented elsewhere. And those are South Asians, Middle Easterners, and North Africans, for example. So it's already special in that. It's that it, it really is belonging to the people that come to attend it. Interesting. So, you know, you have a very keen, obviously you've been involved in this project for five years since the start, and you've clearly a keen eye for design. What personally stands out in Dubai as a wonderful piece of design? And yeah, what stands out as a really good piece of design in Dubai? It's funny you ask that question. I feel what stands out is designing the future. It quite literally isn't design of an object, a wall, a surface, a road, a public space. It's this way that there is a sense of design that comes with the brand of the city. It's this idea that they've designed a place that is safe, secure, and sustains a livelihood for so many people. It's the reason I came here and I was able to call it home so quickly. So it's really about um, a kind of future-led place. 
that is designing with you know 10 steps ahead at all times because that's one of the things that's important to highlight design isn't just the way a person sits at a table and what chair they're on or what table they're using design is an intention to define the way a person behaves mm -hmm. and that's what i think is quite powerful about the city amazing yeah very interesting so from a kind of in uh, industry point of view uh where is design the, the zeitgeist of design right now you know we, we see we've seen kind of the stark attacks uh theme and there's uh Zaha Hadid has buildings in Dubai and also in Abu Dhabi, the, the bridge and things like that. But has design kind of moved on? Is it more about practical and utility and more about, uh, has it moved on? Or what are the kind of themes emerging from Dubai Design Week in Dubai? Uh, I think there, there's more than one. So if I'm going to highlight two themes that I find uh, are quite significant. The first is there's definitely a research-led um, revival of antiquity craft and a sense of identity and how that identity can be preserved and taken into the contemporary space whether it's designing using particular skills that were available hundreds of years ago and then updating that or designing new objects that satisfy parts of the culture that don't yet, yet exist in terms of the things that we use so that's one angle that that's quite rampant the other uh is that it's undeniable that the Middle East is one of the hotter territories in the world. And given the global climate crisis that's taking place, I find that a lot of interesting lo-fi, simple mechanisms for staying cool are actually available in our environment and they're available in the vernacular of, of, of the region. So I find that a lot of people are using this place as a test bed to find solutions for an, ever heating planet. So those are the two threads, like architects are experimenting with climate control and how to build for a hot country. And simultaneously, uh, it's about preservation of identity and bringing that forward before we become a global human. Fascinating, it's, you know, there's so much depth to it, it's so interesting. So Dubai Design Week is obviously only on for this week. If someone wants to kind of get involved and to see uh, to be more involved in the design community in Dubai throughout the year, where would you recommend, how can people get participate and how can people see what's happening? There are a number of ways that you can go about that. One of the uh, things to keep in mind is there are a lot of institutions and places that you should just get on their newsletters. Obviously, we have our very own with Dubai Design Week, but you're going to want to also get involved with uh, Al Sarkal Avenue, the Jamil Art Center. You want to get in, get on the newsletter of Tashkil, uh, which is one of my favorite institutions because it kind of looks at crafts, arts, and design, but it's constantly hosting workshops that anybody can, can attend to develop new skills. You want to also come down to Dubai Design District because although we're the event that takes place for six days here, there are studios, architecture, uh, architecture and design studios, stores, concept spaces, and so on that are just on the ground level, but also upstairs. So it's important to travel through the buildings and find out who's here um, and get an idea of how you can get involved with design in some capacity. Amazing. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Rowan. I, I know you're really busy, you. so uh, you know, you. to get back to work and enjoy the rest of the week. I really appreciate this, this moment of calm, so thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. Bye.